Alright guys, hello, welcome back. This is episode 4 for SMP uh, Crack Pack. And uh, today we're going to build a multi-spawner. I've already started, actually. It's a little bit late at night and my wife is on her way home soon, so I wasn't planning on recording. But I decided to go ahead and get some done here. Um, this right here is we got the six spawners. It's going to be a multi-spawner system. And we're going to run four grinders. And uh, I've already got some of the... I've got the wiring and the tubing in place. And this right here is going to be the setup for the wiring. For the grinders and the uh, ducts for the... Uh, Whatchamacallit, um, da, 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 da. item docs, yeah. So, this is what we're setting up. <coughs> now, hopefully, I can get this done pretty quick. Um, you see, we got six out. So... Now, the spawners will spawn in a 5x5 five five area, but they don't, uh, I guess on the front and the right hand side, they will actually spawn another area, or another block out. So, to avoid that, I just went ahead and went 6 out on each one, and this should give us pretty much everything we need. Um, I'm not really in need of like gunpowder and stuff, but I'm gonna put creepers in here. So that'll help us some. That'll give us the sulfur we need. So this right here, and I'm using a system that I actually got from Biffa. Um, he recently put out an episode where he used a drawbridge and redstone blocks so the very top one is actually a drawbridge block and I've got the nine redstone blocks in it to extend them all the way down and what that's going to do is that's going to make it so we can turn it on and off real simple um, originally I had it set up so the system would turn it on and off using the fluid ducts for the mob essence but then it still runs for a little bit um, and I don't want it running consistently after I log off or anything, so I'm going to go ahead and use this system so that when I turn it off, it's off. There's not going to be any ifs, and or buts, and the grinders will actually run continuously, and we are going to need some more wiring. So, this will be our area killing area. We're going to run the four grinders so we don't have any issues with buildup. They will pretty much die rather rapidly. And we're going to pump that oh, lag, into a system over here which is going to have a an ender chest from the ender storage mod. And that will make it so that we and pump everything directly into our ME storage system and avoid having to move stuff ourselves. So, that being said, I'm going to get some stuff together and all this right here is also going to be glass from here up so that we can see in and view the area. But uh, I'm going to get the rest of the stuff together for the wiring and the grinders. Oh, I have my hover. No wonder why everything's so slow when I move. I changed my jetpack. I went with the Simpl Simply Jetpacks mod. <coughs> that one seems to be a little bit faster, but I'm not sure if I like the hover mode on it. So, I'm going to get this stuff made. And we'll be back as soon as I do. Alrighty, just want to jump in real quick. Now, if you're watching this video and you don't 
no. And these ender chests, they have a color coding. Okay, um, what I noticed is I made the ender chest, it had no color coding on it, so I set it down to color code it, but just for some reason I decided to check it. Now right now, this one doesn't have anything in it. But when you first set it down, if you have it hooked up to a system, and there's no color coding, and it puts items in here, they are going to store in there. Even if you change the color coding, they're still going to be under the three white things. And what I did notice is somebody actually had something in there. So I'm going to leave that in there, but if you're watching this and you are a part of the server, you might want to check that real quick because you may have something in there. I'm not sure whose it is, and frankly, it could possibly be mine. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it in there, because it's not mine as far as I know. So we are going to run this. I'm going to run this here, and it's actually going to... I was planning on doing glass, but I decided, hell with it, we'll just save ourselves a little bit of wiring. Because we're not really going to be down here, I don't think. Alright, we'll just go ahead and run it around. Oh, maybe not. Because I don't have enough. Alright, so let's take this off. Oop. What is <laughs> shit? <laughs> I know what I'm doing, don't worry. I guess we could have run it underneath, too. But, I don't know. We'll watch, be able to watch it this way. Now, I do have this. And what we're going to do here is, first take item docs. Go there, there. Okay, and I take this to draw it out. We're going to put Matic Servo. Alright, let me get this. Hmm, maybe I should just go from the corner. I don't have a lot left, and I want to avoid making more, but hmm. let's see how whoop. I got the wrong one. Alrighty. good at controlling the jetpacks. They seem to have a mind of their own when you get going. So let's go ahead and we'll use this to bring it down. Now this will handle up to 10,000 RF and this is only 800 I believe. So that should be more than enough power. They are full of power. Alright, so now it's just a matter of running the item ducts so that they will all collect and go into there. Pretty it up here in a second, but 
Alright, so every one of these... Needs a servo. Or not a servo. Yeah, servo. Turn it to that. So they are each going to draw out of the system. Alright, so we got one more over here. There we go. So they are all pulling out. So they'll kill the mobs, put all the stuff in there. That will eventually get into our ME system. And now it's just a matter of putting the glass. Now, because we don't have wiring over here, I'm going to head, go ahead and just cover that with that and we will get the glass and a roof hmm. and maybe we won't do it maybe we'll just go all the way up yeah sounds like a plan to me all right so we'll go ahead and do that but we'll get this glassed in so that those mobs can spawn and we don't have to worry about them coming out. Alright, so I'm going to get some glass made. That may take a while and then we're going to get that done. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, we got some stuff done. Mr. Anton is on. And uh, we're bringing him some gifts. Alrighty. And we're trying to find him. Hmm. He just got his ME system set up. And yeah, we got a few storage things for him. Help him out. Okay, so he's apparently got Here. this all set up away from his base. Wow, he's well, he's not too far. Wonder if he's got a charge station for the wand. Made a trade for this wand earlier. It came from him actually. Hmm. I don't have a charge station. Ew, Magnum Torch. Hey, beautiful. You say hi to everybody? Yeah. Hmm, I wonder if this space is secret.
So, we're going to have to make one. Or find our nodes, which isn't that hard. But, I honestly have no clue how to do it. Hmm. Okay, I should let him know I was recording. girls here playing around. Well that's not the Emmy system. I thought it was. Hmm. Oh. Aha. Okay, so that's kind of hidden away. Cool deal. <laughs> and go ahead and show it. He'll be Mama, expecting Daddy, attacks. Mama, Mama. Uh, it's not Mama. No, it is you. Hmm. Let me see. So everything is that way. Oh, we're not. Almost a thousand. Eight hundred fifty-seven. Blocks. What's he doing? Yes. I just bite. You gave me kisses, sweetheart, and that's very sweet of you. This. Too far away. Should be pretty quick getting back and forth. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna cut out here. Didn't want to take up too much time, but I did want to get a little bit more in for this episode, and hopefully we can have it rendered and released. Mr. Anton. Anton. I'm really not sure how to say it. So. Alrighty. I think that's about it for now. If anything exciting comes up, we'll be back. Alright guys, that's going to be it for now. Um, not a very exciting episode. Well, we got a little bit done. Um, well, let me see if I can get over there without too much trouble. Over here we did get our mob system going. It's uh, running a little bit slow. Not sure as to why. But it is working. It's giving us lots of stuff. I did put a pull of the Slime Island water Huge. stuff down there. So that is going to spawn slimes naturally. I don't believe I will get big ones out of that. It'd just be small ones. Um, I haven't really done much else. Um, I did have a little battle with Anton. He attacked us while we were AFK and my wife noticed that I was getting hit by something so I came and killed him. Yep, and my little girl is still going. Um, he did manage to get in and uh, rename our Robert, which I was going to do anyways, but I think I'm going to leave him with that name. So, yeah, and Anton wasn't trying to kill me. He was just trying to knock me down. He broke a few blocks and dropped me down there, which is where I saw him at, and attacked him shortly after. Did he? Oh, he did. <laughs> Alrighty. I was trying to put back the holes and everything. 
And I, I didn't manage to record it, but I wish I would have. It was fun. And hopefully we'll get to do it again sometime. And, uh, yeah. So that, I believe, is about it for now. So we will catch you next time. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.